Hello everybody. Howdy. We're in the Ozark National Forest this weekend. Right next to Indian Creek, which yep. flows into Big Piney Creek. Yes. And we just set up camp and it is strangely warm. It's not hot or anything. It's just not, we don't even need a fire. We'll put it that way. And it's very still. Yeah, very still. But that's because there is a storm system circling around and it rained here earlier today and they're saying that we should get some more rain around 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. So that's to be expected, but we're hungry. I am making something different. I've made it at home before, but shrimp fettuccine Alfredo. Shut the front door. <laughs> you already knew what I, I was know. cooking. I know, I know. Cody pre-peeled the shrimp, but we're starving. So we're gonna get that going. Dinner was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And we've got some guests coming. One of them, y'all love him so much, y'all talk about him. The other one is y'all's second person that you love so much, Jonathan and Chris. Chris should be here any time this night. We don't know what time he's coming. And Jonathan will be here tomorrow night. But anyways, we're in the tent and we wanted to show you our new lights. We talked about them on the last vlog, but we never showed you. Look at those things. The glow is just so perfect. Those are the Lucy's, right? Uh-huh. I was going to string them somehow, but I couldn't figure it out. I already know how. I got it figured out. Well, Cody has them up. Because I'm good like that. That took me five seconds. Yeah, it didn't take long at all. Anyways. We have some big plans for tomorrow. Something I have wanted to do for four years, but I've never been able to talk Kelly into going and we're getting to go tomorrow. What? The creek. I know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that was a bug. It's a June bug. Daggum. He wants those lights. Yeah, man. I want them too. But we're going to be doing Bear Creek tomorrow, which is an awesome creek. It's got class five um, whitewater rapids on it. I would never kayak it because I'm not that cool, but it is beautiful. Well guys, we'll just see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Chris finally showed up last night. He is set up over there. And it is like 8 o'clock and Kelly is sleeping hard. Angel Princess? Are you up yet? So comfortable. You don't want to get up? Can you believe this, guys? I'm finally up, guys. It took a lot of energy. But it was a really good sleep. Chris is up. Chris! Yeah, I'm up. I'm up. <laughs> he showed up right like when we said goodnight to y'all last night. Yeah. He rolled in. Yeah. And dude, it looked like the sun came over yeah. with his lights. Oh, yeah. yeah. Boy, I didn't get to see him. <laughs> I want a set of those. Yeah, until that rain started, though. Yes, guys. It, it wasn't bad, though. It, it was scary. 
we were standing out here talking in the thunder and lightning. Oh. Oh, yeah. And there was fog. What was so cool is the whole area was full of, like, mist and fog from yeah. some of the rain that fell. And every time the lightning hit, all you saw was it glow through the fog. And you got all these creepy trees. It was creepy, <laughs> It was kind of spooky. It was. It was neat, though. I liked it. I missed that because I guess I was asleep already. Yeah, you were. You're a party pooper. <laughs> What are you cooking this morning, babe? Hummus and roasted tomato. Hey, I've had that before. <laughs> Good stuff. So if you watch our last vlog, you know that I was going crazy over some ciabatta bread. So I'm gonna use ciabatta bread instead of French bread. I mean, look at it. It just looks so good. And while she's doing that, I haven't even showed y'all around camp yet. This is camp. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to camp. This is a little dead end spot, and what is so cool about this camp spot is this swimming hole over here. Even though it's a little too cold to go swimming right now, isn't that just pretty? And then Chris got a new tent and an awning, and he is cooking. What are you cooking? English muffins. That bed make it strong. Yeah, I got to get ready to go hike. What do you think of this? She's sweet, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the main was... thing I like is the mattress. The mattress is just Yeah. Cool. He's got this really thick. Like, look how thick. How, what is this? Like, it's three inches three of memory inches? foam. But it's good memory foam. It's not that cheap stuff. Yeah. Like, that's me pushing on it. It, it really forms to your body. It's got two skylights in there. It's got one open. Isn't that just nice? And then he just got this new awning. Yes, the awning. This is all uh, CVT, Cascadia uh, Tent Company. And uh, I love it. So the tent's the new hybrid tent. So it doesn't really have the bag that goes over the whole entire thing. It's just around the edges. So it's a little quicker to put up. It's kind of a hard shell and a soft shell, kind of a combination. And the other but, cool thing about it is it has a rack on the top. Yeah. So you can actually store like a kayak or something on top of the tent. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the hybrid part of it. So it doesn't have the soft shell on the top. It has this so I can carry my kayaks. Yeah. If you ever wonder what kind of coffee we like to drink, we drink espresso. That's it, period. Espresso. We love it. And this espresso, not espresso, like I said a while back, <laughs> espresso is Italian stallion. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Like, can you pronounce that word for me? <laughs> that is called espresso. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't crack me up. Yeah, yeah. For my eggs. She ain't got that. What no, is that? I don't have that. I remember you telling me about it. Yeah. What is this? So you put a little butter on the pan, put this down, crack an egg in it. There's your English muffin egg. Yeah. Walmart and the grilling department. Okay. So as Kelly's getting her hummus going, Chris over here is using his English muffin egg thingy. Oh, by the way, if you've never known, but Chris has his own uh, YouTube channel, make sure to check it out. It's Fast Track Overland and uh yeah check me out i need all the help i can get trust me but check that out isn't that just fancy just fancy i know y'all have seen this like a thousand times but you just don't know how good this is yeah, it's, it's so, good. so good so flavorful mm -mm -mm. you can eat it for so many different meals i think i've had it for lunch before dinner yep Little snack. You think it's ready to pass? No. I'm just gonna... It's been a minute. I love that thing. Yeah, I, I bought like mine. It break. And then I think I watched your video and you had one. I was like, oh man. Dude, ours was like. Glass. Well, we were in Utah and the glass and it was glass and I just we woke up that morning to make coffee and it was broke. So oh. I was like, oh it, my god. It wasn't gosh. broke. Broke. Yeah. It held water, but it seeped out, so yeah, we, made, so we made it anyway. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, a morning with no coffee? Yeah. No. It has turned out to be such a beautiful morning. The sun is not out completely, but it's in and out. The temperature is perfect. It's just really nice. But Cody, is he's going to finish up doing his yoga. 
Chris is getting his stuff put away. And we're gonna go do a hike to Bear Creek. So that is where we're gonna be headed and we'll see you guys there. We made it to the trailhead. It's just a parking area, but there, we're thinking there's like a ATV trail over there. Um, other than that, you didn't see anything over there on that side? No, uh, I didn't walk down that far, but I didn't see anything. So I guess we're just gonna go this way and see what we can figure out. So we're taking this road ATV trail and we we're thinking we could have drove back here but we're already walking and it opens up into this field with this really pretty grass i love these little pink buds Look at that cedar that is a this big is cedar. so pretty we could just put a house here we're still making our way on this so-called so road that we could have driven down um, got it or do i need to carry you just hold that Okay. Yeah, that was awesome, guys. That was very, uh... I wouldn't say graceful. I was going to say, I was trying to think of the word, and that's what I was looking for, graceful. Right. How are you feeling, Chris? Fat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think we got to turn back around. I know where it is. I don't know the easiest way to get there. Man, I think it's back at that field. We are back at the field and we're going to walk around the perimeter and see if we cannot find some kind of entrance to this trail because Bear Creek is a popular creek for whitewater kayakers and they have to backpack their kayaks in. So we're pretty sure that there's got to be some known trail of, you know, how to get back to this creek somewhere. And this is the parking we found out in this field on the Google Maps. It says Bear Creek parking in this field here. And that purple and the green and everything, oh, it almost just looks like a dream, doesn't it? Chris found it, yeah. That was horrible. Okay, one more. Okay, ow, god, it hurt. There's an orange flag on the tree here. Why does it look yellow in the camera? It's orange, and some rocks here. And so, Watch out for the sword, sword. we're thinking this is it. Yeah, there's another flag on the tree. So we're headed in the right direction. Yay! Do y'all hear that? Do y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? I see a little bit of it. I hear it, yeah. Oh, and the bad thing is, is that this has been downhill nonstop, which means we have to go back up. Back up. Ah, it's gonna be rough. Are y'all ready? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first of many features of Bear Creek.
Guys, is it just me? Or do y'all feel like we're in Brazil right now? Coming up to something really epic here with you guys. I hope y'all enjoy it as much as, well, Kelly and Chris are enjoying it. Wow. That is gorgeous. Well, this was amazing, beautiful. I really don't, I have all the words. We're just gonna use all the words. Hey, Chris asked me, how's this compared to the pizza waterfall? Cause last weekend, because <laughs> Kelly cooked the pizza, he's calling it the pizza waterfall. Guys, this is better than the pizza waterfall. And I am so happy that y'all got to come with us and Chris and Kelly. Yeah, I actually came on a hike, yay me. <laughs> I knew I picked a good one. She did pick a good one. You couldn't have picked a better one. Nah, <laughs> this is definitely a good one. If you're gonna do it, this is the one. Okay guys, well, we're gonna hike back up and then we'll see you at camp. Good evening everybody. We're all cleaned up and Jonathan's here. He's setting his tent up. Hey everybody. <laughs> They've been asking about you. I've missed you. They all. have been asking about you. I know it's been a minute. <laughs> Been a long minute. It's been like five weeks, I feel like. Yeah. It's been a long. So he's getting his stuff set up and he has a new bike. Let's go see his bike. It's really pretty. Oh, have they seen the uh it's a gravel bike. So here's what our full camp looks like if you're if you're wondering. We're gonna go ahead and start cooking. So I'm making um black bean enchiladas with Mexican rice. Cody's gonna do pull-ups. What are you making, Chris? Grilled cheese. But you, it's a special grilled cheese. Uh, yeah, made by me. It's special. <laughs> Jonathan, what are you making? Uh, pasta with a Cajun cream sauce. Ooh. What? Chris, I think you're gonna It's a cook-off. It's a cook-off. It's a cook-off. I don't know. I already knew I was gonna lose. That's why I went with grilled cheese. All right, guys. This is another Dome Life cook-off with Jonathan. Kelly and we got our special guest Chris with Fast Track Overland and there is no who can get it done first it is quality so Kelly is the reigning champ actually I don't know I, think, I thought Ted won no Ted did Ted you won last time if you're watching this I think you won last time but Jonathan lost horribly last time so what are you cooking tonight he said I'm cooking uh, creamy Cajun pasta. Oh, heck yeah. Heck, what is this? Well, that's the Cajun creamy pasta. Or the cream. Did you pre-make the cream? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Pre-made cream, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, it's fine. If this is not speed or it's just like, did you make it? You're good. Okay, let's see what Chris is doing. What's going on over here at Camp Fast Track? Uh, we're cooking some bacon right now. That's all we're gonna really talk about right now, but bacon's going down. Uh, I'm making black bean enchiladas and um, Mexican rice. So you got some tortillas cooking? Yeah, I went in and just fried my tortillas. Right first. on, right on. Look at this. Brother and sister teamwork. She's helping out her brother because he didn't bring no water. Oh, sh here it comes. Look at this really nice clean grill for the stove. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Babe, what, what we got going on? I am cutting up an onion for the rice. Oh, Kelly's got two dishes going on with yes. her dish. It's not just one. Uh huh. Does that give me points? Yeah, that gives you points. Cause Jonathan's just heating something up. I'm not real sure. I don't even, guys, I don't even know this is, it looks like it could possibly be his or it looks like he bought it from someplace. I didn't buy it. You, 
You promise? No problem. Okay. I, I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. What did you uh, do? I put some onion in there uh -huh. and I've got some rice with some oil. Okay, okay. So I'm just going to stir this around. So this is a Mexican rice? Yes. Okay, okay. Half of his food is on the table here. Dropping noodles. Dropping noodles. Chris, are we still working on bacon? Boy, you got a lot going on over there. No, I just like bacon. Kelly, what are we doing now? I'm going to get about one third cup of this tomato sauce and put it in here. Tomato sauce going in. This is the rice. Okay. And now I've got some vegetable better than bouillon. I like to use that. Hold that tight for me. Better than bouillon. Okay, okay. And that's going in here with the rice. Jonathan. Where are you at? Where are you coming along? I'm just waiting on the noodles to, to get done. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Your team fast track, what are you up to? Nothing. We're in a holding pattern. What is that, butter? We're warming up a little butter. Okay, okay. You got any of that uh, howda? I sure do got some howda. It, it's gouda. gouda. Yeah, Gouda. Gouda. Well, Gouda. Gouda is what everybody calls So them. tell us if this is correct, because I think it's a German word, maybe it's some other word, but it's spelt with a G, and we've always said Gouda. Kelly and I have said it for years, and then our friend Rusty told us that it's actually Howda. And then we see him today, and he says, hey, I got some Gouda. I'm going to make a grilled cheese with some Gouda. I was like, actually, it's Howda. I was corrected. This whole time I've been calling it Gouda. It's very Gouda. Yeah, it is very good. It's very good. Guys, look, this is called good competitive love, and Kelly is about to give Chris some good competitive love. So, Kelly, what'd you just give Chris? Oh, that's the Machego cheese. That's the cheese I love. It's the Mexican cheese. What do you think? Give me a moment. Mmm, <laughs> that's delicious. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's very good. See? You can be competitive and still be friendly. What are we doing now, darling? So now this is going to go in so, ooh, inside of my enchiladas. So I gotta mix all this goodness together. That looks like goodness. Kelly got the cheese that she gave Chris and uh, Jonathan, and now she's shredding some. And what is this for? Is that the enchiladas? That, I'm gonna put this inside the enchilada with this mixture and also on top of them while they're baking. What? All right, let's see how Chris is doing over here. Chris, anything exciting going on? Steve, we're about to put it down. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Yes. So, it's, yeah, we're about to have some, some bread, some cheese, and some bacon, and some gooeyness, and yeah, it's about to go down. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no clue what you're doing. That's actually scary, but because you are fearless, I will uh, give you some extra points. I'm telling you, it's going to be yummy. And I want to steal a chip. Oh, yeah. From Cape Cod. Yeah. Ooh. At no expense. Mmm. Pinky out. <laughs> Good stuff. I'm adding more stuff to my enchiladas. We got salt, pepper, What's cumin, this? cumin, cumin. Oh, okay. Jonathan, just bowl in order. Yep, the noodles are almost done. It's getting there. Chris, have I missed anything? No, sir. Well, maybe. I haven't been over here since you built anything. No, oh, hey, what do you got on them? We got uh, cheddar on one. Mm -hmm. And then we got gouda on this one, but we got some bacon in between the cheese. Ooh. Oh yeah. Can I tell you a secret that you can do for this? What's that? So Kelly, Kelly taught me this. Kelly, tell her I'm giving you some insider All information. Right, more, more. Take a lid yeah. for one of your pots and put it over it. It oh, keeps the heat in there and melts the cheese melts faster. The cheese faster. Good idea, yeah. isn't it? Oh yeah. Turn your heat down so it doesn't burn too quick to give it some more more time to uh, melt that cheese. That's just a little insider tip. The noodles are almost done. So I think I'm about to strain them and then add everything else in. Okay, <laughs> I like your stuff. <laughs> Kelly and I will be eating at nine o'clock tonight. Yeah. How's this looking, babe? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add my Serrano. Okay. A little cheese in there. Woo, yeah. Put that in there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cover the bottom with some enchilada sauce. All right. And now you're filling? Now I'm, I'm rolling, filling, rolling, and placing them. Oh, 
Alright. Yeah! Look at that. Alright. Dude. That's pretty fancy. Ain't done yet. You're not done yet? <gasps> I'm still in one of these. I didn't know you had pickles. Oh, dude, the garnishments. You just killed it. Chris is done, guys. I'm almost done. Jonathan's almost done. We're nowhere near being done. We're nowhere near being done. I don't know if this is chorizo or bison. So you pre-made this. So Jonathan pre-made this at home, but he doesn't know if this is chorizo or bison. Because guys, I've, co I've cooked both this week and I had leftovers of one and I don't remember <laughs> okay. what it is. So, oh yeah. yeah look, look at the picture now, dude. The cheese is oozing out oh, of it. It worked, guys. It worked. Oh, yeah. Mm, that looks pretty. Jonathan's actually throwing some stuff in here. What do you got going on, Jonathan? I'm putting in the creamy Cajun sauce. Okay. In the meat and just kind of heating it up and once it's heated up, put a little cheese in there and bon appetit. It's yeah. Done. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> what? So, uh, what kind of cheese are we doing here? Uh, this is Parmesan and then Colby Jack. Okay. Okay. So, this is the Gouda right here. Okay. Or the Howda. Howda. So, okay. try it out. Dude. The crust is just slightly toasted on the outside with a little bit of uh, texture on the inside, like some give. You know, it's not really hard, like like a, uh, what's it called? Croutons. Mm. Very oh. good. It's very uh, flavorful. The bacon mixing with that howda, that's a money, that's a money maker. That's mm. simple and good. I mean, it's just grilled cheese, but man. Hey, but you gotta do it right. No. You gotta do it right. I mean, anybody can make a grilled cheese, but you want to know what Chris added to that? Love. Love. That's the secret ingredient here, people. Love. So, Jonathan, it looks like you're about to be completed next. What, yeah. what do we got going? Ooh, Is that it almost, looks good. It it's does. Cajun cream pasta. Here, put a little and on his plate. This you got is a chorizo. Figured out it's chorizo. <laughs> oh, you figured out it's chorizo. <laughs> All right. Would I'm you like Parmesan welcome. cheese on it? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. do it up the way you would do it. Yeah. Take a little bit of this with some of that meat. Okay. And then let's see here. Let's see here. Mm. Jonathan. Thoughts. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. The boy pulled out a win almost. That's got and so much flavor. I was. I never doubted. I never doubted. I know this boy can cook. Man. He learned from me. Yeah, I learned from the best. We're still waiting on Kelly's dish. Honey, how much longer do we have? We got nine minutes. Nine minutes. Yeah, Jonathan. Solid. That's delish. That is wow. solid. I am, solid. I am this amazed. Like we've been here so week. the flavor isn't super Cajun-y. It's not yeah, like- it's, it's got the spice it's in got it, the man. Heat. Like it's got heat. a little bit of heat yeah, with the alfredo. Or what kind of sauce is that? It's Cajun sauce, but what's the base? Uh, I mean, it's like, I use heavy whipping cream in it. Okay. That and like a mm -hmm. tad bit of flour in it to like thicken it up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, this boy did so. make the sauce. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then, yeah. It, the chorizo, even though it's not a Cajun thing, it's a Mexican uh, meat, isn't it, chorizo? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It really complimented the sauce. I mean, wouldn't y'all have to say? Yes, most definitely. Oh, yeah. That's good. Dude, you might have a win. I don't know. It's pretty good. I don't man. know. Kelly's, Kelly's enchiladas, those are, we'll see. those are always good. We'll see. All right, so we got some rice here. How much you want more than that? No, I'm not. I'm stuffed, so. Okay. And then let me get a spatula. Oh my goodness, those look good. This is the finished product of Kelly's dish. Mm. What do you think, Kelly, of your own food? Well, rice is good. Oh, rice is good. A little more Jonathan, sauce. what have you had of it so far? Rice is good. I'm waiting on the enchilada to cool off. Okay, yeah. Chris, Chris has nothing left. Chris, how was the enchilada? <laughs> Solid, good. All right. It's good. It's good. Oh, it's just oh, good. No, no, it's, it's just good, people. I, I have to eat the whole thing and then really savor it and take it in. And okay, okay, we'll it. come back. We'll come back. I haven't even tried it yet. He's he's being harsh on you, Kelly. That's okay. Okay. This was really good. Okay. And Chris is just eating. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, 
So guess who I'm gonna let be the judge? Okay, so I'm never gonna be invited back again. But if anybody's gonna beat Kelly, it's gotta be her brother. I'm 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 sorry to say, but his was delicious. Was thank really you, thank you, Chris. I it to Jonathan. But I, agree. I will I will say I'm gonna go with Kelly. Oh just mm. just because Oh, you're just saying I that. have trees on mine and mine's really not a Mexican dish and that is more of a Mexican meat. No, so. no, no, bro. That is called fusion. <laughs> it's all it's there all about go. flavor, dude. I'm just yeah. it's flavor. It's not what's mixed up, it's it's fusion. So you you went outside the box. Mm -hmm. It was really, really good. I enjoyed the spice. I I just really liked it. I would eat more of it for sure. I'd eat more of hers too, for sure. But that was just really good. Okay. I give it's it really Jonathan. good. Jonathan's the winner. Good. We all agree. You heard it here first. Jonathan beat her sister. Her sister. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. Words are hard. <laughs> we know what you were trying to say. <laughs> Jonathan beat his sister. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to get in call it for the night and enjoy each other's company and hang out because we haven't talked in a while, and we will see you in the morning. Good night. We slept till nine o'clock. That's how nice it is here right now. But the plan is this morning I'm making homemade biscuits and I'm gonna cook them in the cast iron Dutch oven over, over the fire and then I'm gonna make sausage gravy. So let's get it going. Some chasers, but... yeah. I got another one. Oh, look at him. Probably the same one. <laughs> I know, it's a little small. Yeah. We're just hanging out by the water. There guys are fishing. And it feels really good out here. It's getting kind of hot actually, but it feels good compared to this morning when we woke up, it was super cold. So, but it's really nice, very peaceful. I love, what is this, Indian Creek? Yeah. Indian Creek's very pretty. First time we've really ever spent any time on it, I believe. Oh, Chris is flying his drone. He just did some cool maneuvers. 
he actually went through the creek. He's learning. You're learning how to do it, Chris. He's up there. Yeah, he's just got to do it. <laughs> you have to face your fears. So this is all we're pretty much doing today. We're just hanging out, enjoying it before we have to leave and go back to reality. This beautiful weekend has come to an end, unfortunately, but we had a really great time at this beautiful spot. I love it here. Yes. Love it. It was awesome. Look, we were so happy Jonathan showed up. He showed yeah. up late, but it, all that matters <laughs> is that he showed up because yeah. we know you love Jonathan. We love Jonathan. Even Chris loves Jonathan. Oh, we don't even know why. <laughs> <laughs> and I love y'all too. All right. And we love Chris. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel, Fast Track Overland. We'll put the link below. However, if you like this vlog, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell and subscribe. And we will catch you on the other. Bye.